it's time to sign up, ship out and present tongs. Grill Sergeant Andy Annett wants you in his outdoor kitchen army. Welcome to Barbecue Boot Camp. And in Barbecue Boot Camp, you have to expect the unexpected. How many of you have made Yorkshire puddings on the barbecue? Oh. Wow! This is where the extraordinary comes as standard. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Can I lick the bowl, Mum? No. Andy Annett is Britain's most successful barbecue chef. He and his team have been winning competitions all over the world for years. And now he's going to teach you to wow your friends with your new barbecue skills and help your staff to build their teamwork over the course of one fun-packed day. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to cook a three-course dinner on the barbecue. For your starter, we're going to do a baked camembert cooked in the wooden box and we're going to do some mussels. We're also going to do uh, some trout wrapped up in the wood paper. Uh, for the main course, we're going to cook a whole chicken and we're going to do Yorkshire puddings. For the dessert, we're going to do pineapple cooked with uh, spiced rum and maple syrup. And we're also going to be doing chocolate brownies. Okay, for this task, you need to work as a team because the winning team get a prize. We're going to be judging you on preparation skills and team building. You've got to work as a team. All right, guys, the coals are hot. Let's get cooking. not forgetting those Yorkshire puddings. I do a little bit of barbecue at home, but I'm learning a lot more techniques and different ways and unusual barbecuing. And it's a fun day out as well without, you know, let's say going, you know, and making rafts and going into barrels and climbing across, you know, rivers and things. This is a lot more fun, I think. <laughs> Everyone working together it actually gets the best out of what you're trying to do. So make someone in charge of the coals, making sure the temperatures are right, someone are doing the preparation. Anytime people do barbecues, everyone tries to do one thing, and that's when things get burnt. If you've got other people who are responsible for different bits, it's all teamwork. You get a better result then. What the corporate client gets is a proper team building day. The people have got to work together as a team. In the past, people might have had a barbecue at home and burnt things. After they've had a day with us at barbecue boot camp, they go away as grill masters. Great, the mussels are ready. Mm, very good. Have you tried some rope? Yeah. Mm, there you go. Oh. Hey, Simon. Wait! <laughs> Whoa! Those are fantastic, aren't they? Amazing. It's time for the teams to relax and enjoy what they've worked so hard to achieve, whilst Andy continues with his judging. Well, I'm definitely going to take this forward and we'll be making a booking to bring our team uh, to do a nice team building and fun barbecue day out because I know none of them can cook so it'll be an added advantage to their legal skills. It's been excellent, really enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed ourselves. The food's been superb. We've worked hard but we've worked as a team. Uh, the only argument was of who got most chicken. So it's been really, really enjoyable. I think I'd bring some of my clients here. And he's close to announcing the winners of the boot camp cookout. Team captain, would you like to bring your team up? And he's so impressed that he awards the winners his British Barbecue Champions Trophy, on the strict understanding that they hand it back once they finish taking their photographs. All about teamwork and having fun, which is <laughs> what you should do with the barbecue. <laughs> now remember, these barbecue boot camps are very popular. Have a look at us online at www.
barbecuebootcamp.co.uk or give us a call 01765 640 311. Book now, you won't regret it.